What's up guys? Uh, just installed the new firmware um, which enabled anti-aliasing on the Anycubic Photon and uh, I asked a bunch of questions in the group and everyone answered to the best of their abilities but I figured the best way to figure out if it's something that I need to be doing on my prints is to do it and uh, compare the results. So here we go. The model that I used uh, was a deer off Thingiverse. I'm pretty sure you could just look up deer and uh, I think it, it, it's a pretty good representation of why or why not we want to use this technology. So uh, this is with zero anti-aliasing and you can see that the focus of this little slideshow is going to be where that arrow is, that little bridge. Uh, we go from zero to two and you can see that the bridge is sort of stretching out, uh, almost disconnected and at 4x you could see that it's gone and that we're getting uh, uh, some better results as we keep going. Uh, this picture is the 8x. It is non-existent and then here is another 8x but you could see that I was having a little bit of problems with uh, not z-wobbles. My carriage, the build plate, wasn't actually tightened and so you could kind of see where that made some lines around here and here. Uh, this is the 16X. Now, this is interesting. 16X looks like it did nothing because it absolutely did nothing. Uh, the 16X is uh, enabled on the validator, not on uh, situ box. I just wanted to see if the validator did anything different. Uh, and if you don't know what the validator is, there's another video that I did explaining how to install it and where to get it from. Um, now, I hit it with a primer uh, just a little bit of brown that I had left over. This is the 0x. Uh, you can kind of see that bridge a little bit better here, this one. This is the 2x. You can see that the bridge is going away. We have the 4x. It's pretty much gone. This is an acceptable level of anti-aliasing if you're hitting something with primer. And then the 8x. Uh, now the 8x is it's pretty much completely gone. Again, you could see where I was having some line problems with the carriage not being attached. Um, and you could see on the other side of the deer, it was pretty messed up. But I'm not going to waste any more of my time, especially when you could see the results um, of the anti-aliasing. Again, this is that 8X, and it's probably the best uh, so far. Uh, here, again, is the 16X prime. You can see that there's no difference between that and the 0X. Um, again, the validator does not do anything to upgrade uh, anti-aliasing. Now, I mean, I don't know why. To be honest with you, I don't know much about any of this stuff. I'm just printing and uh, showing results. Uh, it's important to note that anti-aliasing does not fix things that are parallel to the build plate. These are not uh, things that can be fixed with the update. These are just layer lines. This is a consequence of the orientation. And if you're trying to get rid of that, you need to reorient the object. Uh, this is the 0x. This is the 2x. Uh, this is the you know 8x. This is the, the really shitty 8x. But you can see that there's no difference. Anti-aliasing will not fix that problem. Uh, now, this is a print done by Sue uh, from the group. And this is where my concern really was. The one on the left is done without um, anti-aliasing and the one on the right is done with anti-aliasing. Uh, you, you probably can't see much of a difference, but right as soon as you hit it with a primer, you can absolutely see the difference. Again, on the left we have 0x and then on the right, I think it was either 4x or 8x, I can't remember exactly what she did. But the important thing here is, yeah, you do have a smoother print on the right, but you're also losing details. That's the drawback. That's the big drawback. You need to find a model that benefits with you know the least amount of diminishing returns. Um, and so I think that's the conclusion of this anti-aliasing thing. Yeah, it's amazing, uh, and we're stepping forward in technology, but it's not for all prints. It's absolutely not for all prints. You need to really choose your battles and your orientations correctly. Um, personally, I think uh, AA was a little overhyped, but that's only because I do a lot of organics, um, and I like my details on my organics. But I think um, 
the TLDR here is if you're going to just kind of shotgun it, keep your AA, your AA at like 2x, maybe 4x. Don't go any higher than that unless you absolutely see a need.